Hello YouTubers, I'm going to do a quick unboxing today of the Alienware M14X gaming laptop. So here we go. I'm trying my best with uh, one hand. So it comes in this nice black box here. Let's open this thing up. So let's see what we got here. Looks like this comes in a nice packaging. Probably uh, some software. Let's open this up. It's probably I'm guessing this is the power plug. Mm, not much else. Looks like just a power plug. Oh. Put that aside. So obviously, those of you know, uh, Dell actually bought out Alienware. Um, so this actually said shipped from Dell on the outside box. So basically, cool box. I mean, blue Alienware logo. Nothing in there but a charger. Um, let's just see what else is in here. Probably CDs and stuff. All right, here we go. Resource DVD from Alienware. Uh, this comes with Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate. What is this? This must be a backup DVD or something. That's pretty cool. A lot of laptops don't even come with software anymore. Uh, looks like manuals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Let's put that aside. Let's put that back in. Let's put that back in. Okay, that's that. All right, let's see if I can open up this laptop with one hand. Pretty cool box. Comes wrapped in a funky looking cloth. Okay. This is a 14 inch laptop and it is a gaming laptop. Uh, so not exactly the uh, lightest or sleekest. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, comes with the cool alien logo right on the cover. All right. And then I know this thing has different lighting systems, so I'll turn it on and I'll show you guys that. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So, uh, I'm actually going to boot it up um, and let's see what we got to do, but I know it's going to have to do some setup and stuff, so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, it actually took me a long time to uh, do the updates and change a couple of settings, but I'm going to boot it up for you now. And then as I'm booting up, I'll kind of go over the specs a little bit, but as you can see here, the power button. Is a cool little alien head, so let's push that. Okay, and he lights up. Okay, as it's booting up. As you can see here, I did change the light settings when I was uh, setting it up. As you, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the tablecloth is red, but uh, that lighting is red. You could actually change it to a lot of different colors. So the venting, you can change the lighting. I have it red. The little touchpad here, it's just got a good rubbery feel too. Um, so it's not like smooth or metallic like the MacBook Pros or some Dells that I've had. So it's got a nice sturdy rubbery feel. Uh, you don't gotta worry about damaging it. Obviously it's meant to be a gaming laptop, so it is meant to be rugged. Okay, so you can actually customize the color, the logo, which I did. I made that red. Uh, the keyboard I left as a blue, so I got red, blue, green, red. So, uh, it's booting up. Well, that booted up pretty quick. Um, so as you can see, you got a cool alien logo as your uh, uh, background. Uh, let me show you some of the ports on the side. Let me close that down real quick. So you got a slot loading uh, DVD player there. Um, you got two USB 3.0s on the side. 
Then you also have um, your Ethernet connector right there. On the back, uh, you have a power uh, plug. That's where the power goes. Let's go back to the other side. You got a VGA output uh, port. You got an HDMI out. You got a mini display port right here. You got a USB 2.0 power share. I'm not sure what that means, but it's power share. Uh, then you got a microphone in, microphone in. You got a headset and microphone uh, in port, and you have a headset only port. So definitely meant to be a true gaming laptop. Uh, here you got your SDs and your mini SD slots also. So let's take a quick look at the actual laptop itself. Okay. 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 Let's go. So as you can see, it's not plugged in right now, so the screen's a little dim. Uh, let me turn that up a little. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, cool Alienware logo right there. Uh, and I, I'm a couple of things I will show you. Uh, I already installed a couple of programs. I got my, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but I got my game capture. HD. I am currently using the Elgato. Um, I might change that actually eventually. Um, maybe I'll show you uh, Batman Arkham City on here. Uh, Batman Arkham City. Uh, all I know is on my desktop, Batman Arkham City. I couldn't even play it because my, and my desktop has 12 gigs uh, of RAM. I couldn't even play it on this one, uh, on that, on the desktop. But uh, I'll show you how good it is on this laptop. And then one cool thing I will show you. They got this option here. Let's see if I can zoom in on there. Okay. Where is it? Here goes the Alienware FX settings. Okay. So I'm gonna go to uh, the Alienware Alien FX editor. Let's do it again and mess that up. There it goes. Okay. So as you can see, this editor comes up and you can actually change the colors on the keys. So right now I made a different I made everything different colors. Here's the different options that you have. Okay, all these different colors. And you can everything is numbered, so you can change what color you want every single thing to be. So you can have it all blue, you can have it all red, all green, all yellow, all orange, whatever you want. I actually made it so um, you know everything's a different color. So for example, I made that logo red, keyboard blue, uh, touchpad green, and made these vents red. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, you can actually save different themes, which I did too. Uh, as you can see here, save different themes. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let's close that out. Okay, uh, and just as you can see the screen yourself, let me get to the resolution. This is an HD resolution laptop screen, so it is a 1600 by 900 uh, resolution, so it is considered HD. Uh, what I'm also going to do, close this. Okay, here's YouTube. I don't know if you can tell, but the picture is pretty clear on this laptop. Okay. Let's just pull up one of my videos real quick from YouTube. Should be loading. Let me give you a full screen so you can see that. Okay, don't know if you can tell, but the uh, I know this camcorder is not very clear, but uh, this is an HD screen. It is pretty clear, uh, and I'm actually on my Wi-Fi right now. Okay, so uh, pretty cool. Let me read you some of the specs. Um, this is the Alienware M14X. It is a third generation. Um, i7-3610 processor with uh, turbo boost. I think it's actually uh, 
my, my internet speed is not too quick right now, so I'm just put this back on the regular resolution. So uh, some of the specs of this laptop, uh, it's pretty loaded. It's got the, as I was saying, the i7 processor with Turbo Boost. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, that's a lot for a laptop. Uh, DDR3 RAM. It's got a 32 gig SSD hard drive with a one terabyte uh, regular standard 5400 RPM uh, hard drive. It's also got a dedicated two gigabyte uh, NVIDIA GeForce T650 NVIDIA video graphics card. So that's why it's able to play a lot of videos pretty uh, quickly. Um, it also comes with Creative Sound Blaster sound card, and as I said before, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. Uh, so it's pretty stacked for a laptop. Um, you know, the, the processor speed and the amount of RAM that this thing has is uh, it's pretty loaded for a laptop. So uh, let me see if I can get Batman Arkham Asylum up here to show you how that how quickly that plays. Okay, like I said, the rubbery feel, pretty cool. I like the different colors. It is a little bit heavy. It comes in at about actually uh, 6.5 pounds. So this thing is not light. I will tell you that. It's definitely not light. But, you know, in terms of processor speed, um, pretty cool. And just so you can see on the back here, the alien face, he, he's actually lit up. I like that. That's pretty cool. You know, I always like the laptops that have some kind of light up uh, logo sign on. Any type of lighting makes it pretty uh, modern. So let me load uh, Batman Arkham Asylum here. Uh, this game does take a long time to load, I'll be honest, with, on any type of computer it seems. Uh, so it might take a couple of minutes or so. So bear with me. As you can see, um, the lighting on the alien power button actually turned, because I'm not plugged in right now, so it actually turned orange. Uh, so when you are on battery, it does have an alternate color scheme if you're on battery versus on plug too. So. Uh, Keyboard is pretty comfortable, okay. Let me turn up the sound. Okay, but keyboard is pretty comfortable. Definitely, it, it is quiet, but it's got a good feel to it. Let me tell you, these speakers are pretty good uh, for a laptop, so. Speakers come out of this whole top row right here. So, here's Batman Arkham Asylum. And normally, this thing can't even play. Um, let me get rid of this. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I'm just logging in so I can uh, start this game. Okay. That's still loading. So what I was saying was the keyboard's pretty, got a good feel. The speaker's pretty awesome for a laptop. Um, I like the lighting. The lighting is awesome. And I could change the colors depending on what my mood is. Oh, it's got to do an update. So it's downloading an update right now. Um, so i7, uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. I was going to wait till Windows 8 came out, but I read some mixed reviews, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that or not. Uh, but as you can also see... This is glass, almost, the screen is actually from edge to edge. So it gives it a very, very sleek look. Literally, there's like, probably like an eighth of an inch on each side. So this, this monitor, even though it's a 14 inch screen, the actual diagonal, screen to screen, edge to edge, corner to corner, um, it actually looks a lot bigger because this whole screen here is glass. Okay. Okay, so as you can see here, you know, um, moving pretty good, okay, like I said on my desktop, you can't even play uh, Batman Arkham Asylum on this thing, okay, it's going to go through the story mode, okay, I'm not going to let this whole thing go, but as you can see, everything's moving like it should, okay, no, no slowdown, no stuttering of sound, it's doing what it's supposed to do, so uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Here. Sounds pretty good. As you can, I don't even have it turned up all the way, and it sounds pretty good. Is he here too? In Arkham City. Why would he come here? Okay, let's get rid of the screen. So, like I said, guys, this is just a real quick uh, unboxing. I'm not going to go too much in depth with this laptop because I actually want to try it out. Uh, add some more programs to it, but 
you know, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, know how it's doing in maybe a few days, weeks or so. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Alienware M14X. So far, pretty cool. Um, lots of ports on the side. All right. Lots of ability for expansion. Sorry about that. It must be the lighting in the room. Uh, and then you got the USB 3.0 ports over here, as I said. Uh, and like I said, i7, 16 gigs of RAM. So far, so good. HD screen. Uh, and I'll be probably recording some games on this thing. Uh, so we'll see if there's any problems with that. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, uh, if you have any questions uh, as I'm using it, I'll have some more feedback for you guys. Let me know. Thanks.